Hello everyone, my name is Raven, and welcome to Raven675 for Gaming. And in this episode, we are going to set up Fed inside of FreeDOS. Now there are several different ways to do this. Obviously, of course, you could use FDimples, or you can grab it off of the FreeDOS source uh, repo, or you can grab it straight from the person who is maintaining Fed. All of these are perfectly valid ways to grab it. Uh, it's entirely up to you, uh, you know, which way you want to grab it. But we're going to grab it from the FreeDOS source because last time we installed all the C stuff, we used F dimples. So I'm going to show you how easy it is to just, you know, install something, quote unquote, uh, on DOS. So we're just going to grab Fed and we're just going to grab the zip here and hit OK. And we're just going to open this up. And then we're just going to go into our FreeDOS. Uh, directory and then go into YouTube DOS and we're just going to copy the edit folder out here. Uh, I don't particularly care too much about app info or source. Now, obviously, of course, you have to modify your auto exec dot app. So, you know, just go ahead and launch uh, free DOS here and we'll just do edit H this. This will put it in 50 line mode and then we'll do auto exec dot bat. I'll just scroll down here do, do, do. and uh, I'm just going to add another one here. Uh, what do I want to call this? Um, I just call it editors for now. All right. So we're going to do set path is equal to C edit bed and then percent path. Okay. So that's all we have to do. Uh, now we're just gonna do a control S to save. Actually, I'm gonna just make sure that's saved. And then I'm just gonna run auto exec. And voila, it is now running. Now what we're gonna do is we're just type fed. Give it just a second and there we go, we have fed. Now, I'm gonna full screen it now. Now I really like uh, fed because it's very simple. Uh, and, but yet powerful. I found this, um, thanks to Jim Hall. I watched one of his, his videos and he actually has a video on fed, which you can check out and find it on YouTube. Um, but yeah, I just, I just like it. It's, it's very simple. It's, it, it works. Uh, it uses like more of a Vim slash Borland. So like, for example, uh, if you would like to save a file, it's write, not save. And the shortcut for that is control W instead of control S, uh, control O to open and so forth. Uh, let's see here. So let's, let's first configure daddy. Um, now there's a lot of stuff in here and as we go through and, you know, as we go through the C tutorials and stuff, we'll obviously slowly cover more. I don't want this to turn into like a 40 minute video on fed. So let's set the display mode to 50 lines. You can set this to whatever you like, you know, if you, have a CGA card, you probably want to keep it at 25, but if you have a newer machine or you're running it in DOS box or anything like that, then 50 lines, you know, let's give ourselves a little more room. Uh, you can also use the mouse and go up here, the, the scroll bar on the right, and it'll bring up this menu, or you can hit alt and then C to bring up the config and you can, you know, go around like so. So, um, Let's go to search mode. Uh, actually, we'll just leave search mode alone. Uh, for tab size, I'm going to change it to two. Um, I just feel like, you know, when you don't have a lot of, uh, you know, you don't have very much horizontal and vertical space. Like, let's not pick up too much with tabs, but set the tab size to whatever you like. Uh, for options, screen display options, uh, you can turn the scroll bar to always be on. You can leave the menu bar. Uh, you can display comments, stuff like that. You know, the messages and stuff at the bottom. Uh, we're just going to leave this at default. Uh, now, the tools menu is actually found uh, right here. And you can run a command. You can kick it back down to uh, the DOS shell. And then you can do like, you know, you can run GCC and so forth. And see here. There we go. Uh, type exit to get out of it. Um. We're gonna set this up later when we actually set up GCC. For now, we're just gonna use the DOS shell. Uh, but eventually, you know, we'll set up, you know, it already has set up for make and stuff like that. So 
Uh, but it would be nice. You could set it up to work with like quick basic, what pretty much whatever you like, really. Okay. So um there is one thing I am going to change. Uh, one of those is I'm gonna come down here and change the undo to 32 levels. Screensaver, I'm gonna set that to a minute because I actually kind of enjoy um I actually kind of enjoy like watching the screensaver every now and again. I like walk away, come back. It's nice. You can you completely and utterly ignore that. You can set to zero, especially if you're on a modern machine. Um, now, the other thing, the auto fold. So I'll show you what the folding is uh, here in a little bit, and I'll tell you the hotkey for it. Um, but I don't want it to automatically fold my code. I I, I do not like that at all. Um, I, I, no, I don't like it. Okay, so... Now, what we can do is we can adjust the color of everything. Um, so actually, you know what? Let's let's go on ahead and just type out some like really basic code here. Uh, actually, hang on. Uh, let me go back to config. Let me save the configuration. And then let me do a control Q to quit, abandon the changes. Yes. And then we'll just do a CLS to clear the screen. And then I'm going to do uh, CD make CD. No, I'm going to do make dir, and then I'm going to do uh, let's call it projects, and then oh, because there was already a projects folder. Okay. Ah, yes, there's there's already a main.c file in there. You know what, let's just load that. So we'll just do fed and then main.c. Okay, perfect. So this is this is what it looks like. Um, and now we can uh, modify our ever lovely colors. So for the text color and the background, we can set that to blue if we like. Uh, you can do light blue. Also do black. I'm trying to think here what I want to set all this to. Uh, let's see, selected text color. Let's do yellow with a red background. Folded text color. Let's do yellow with a black background. User interface background. Um, yeah, we can pretty much leave that alone. Let's do colors here. Language keywords. Let's set it to the bright green. I mean, we do the dark green actually. Set it to black. All right. Let's let's go through and set everything here to black. Just to you know, make it a little easier to see what we're doing here. Okay. So, oh wait, hang on. Black, black. Okay, there we go. All right, perfect. Hmm. Okay. So, language keywords. That's fine. Comments. Nah. Comments being bright yellow, I don't really know. How I feel about that. How I feel about. Uh, you know, let's do the light blue for comments. There we go. I, I I much prefer that. So numeric constants. Maybe we'll make them brown. And let's see. Hmm, that's a little bright there. Okay, you know what? I'll just I'll just leave it at that. Um, this this is fine, and obviously, of course, you know you can change this, and obviously, you know you're set, you're the one setting it up, so you can do literally anything you like when it comes to this. Uh, so we'll just go ahead and save that configuration, and then we'll go to tools, and we'll go to DOS shell, and we'll do gcc main dot c dash o main dot exe, and then we'll hit enter. Take a second, compiled, and we'll run main. 
as you can see, we have nice hello world, and we'll type exit, and we go back. Okay, so there you have it. We are now all ready to go. Uh, we have, you know, bed set up. Um, and like I said before, uh, we will definitely uh, look at, uh, you know, I'm going to play some Tetris. Uh, we'll, we'll definitely look at... Um, What's that? Uh, we'll obviously look at learning more about Fed as we go. I think it'd be better to just slowly and gently introduce it rather than just cram in a bunch of stuff because it's already like almost 11 minutes. So if you have any questions, comments, concerns, just put them down in the description and uh, or message me, however. Um, and uh, I will do my best to help you out. And yeah, thanks everybody for watching. I'll see you all in the next one.